Welcome to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West, and this is a power verse for the day for the 19th of February, 2022, and I call it God Pardons and Heals. It's from Psalm 103, verse 3. Now, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it. Just subscribe. Hit the little red subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put one of these out, which is once a day. And then make comments, send this to someone so they can be taught the Bible every day. It'll be a blessing to their life. Hope you'll do that. And let's look at Psalm 103, verse 3 from the New American Standard Bible. That's the translation that I'm going to use for this study. Who pardons all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? One little verse, but it's power-packed. So who pardons all our iniquities? The Lord does. Who heals all your diseases? The Lord does. This psalm was written right at a thousand years, right around there, before Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sin. It is word from God. It is prophecy or speaking forth in written form God's word. Scripture is written prophecy. At the speaking forth of God's word. It assumes the saving work of Christ on the cross about a thousand years in the future from when it was written. Word of God can do stuff like that because he knows the future. This proclaims God's benefits based on Jesus dying in our place on the cross, which he did. It just proclaims the benefits a thousand years before it happened. Now, we claim those benefits by faith in Christ, and there are two benefits that are listed here. They are powerful. They are powerful. First, he pardons all of our iniquities. He issues a pardon for us, even though we sin. His pardon works, listen, past sins, present sins, future sins. Past, present, future, all the iniquities, complete pardon once and for all. That's what Christ's death on the cross did for us. It took He took our place and our execution for our iniquities, issued a pardon for everything we've ever done. When Jesus paid for your sins and mine on the cross, that paid the price and signed the pardon for all of your iniquities, all of them. Wait, Tom, you don't understand. How could he just pardon me for all my sins? You don't know some of the evil stuff I've done. You don't know some of the evil stuff I did when I was a young man. And I know he pardoned all of mine. Believe me, your iniquities are covered in his benefit package. All your iniquities are pardoned. They're all covered as a benefit for coming into Christ. The second benefit we claim by faith in Christ is this. He heals all our diseases. I've always had a little bit of a tough time with that one. And I'll tell you why. Used to be when I read that, I would say, wait, 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 wait just a minute. My parents both died of heart disease. My younger brother and sister died of cancer. He didn't heal all our diseases. They were all Christians. They were all Christ followers. They're all in heaven. Dad has no heart or lung disease. Mom has no heart problems. Tim has no bone cancer. Jana has no uterine cancer. And when I get to heaven... And I will, not because of me, but because of Jesus and what he paid for me. When I get to heaven, I won't have any diabetes. And my heart bypass surgery will no longer be necessary. The brain surgery I have, you can see the dent up there. It won't be necessary anymore because he will have healed all my diseases. None of that stuff will be necessary. Ultimately, all our diseases, along with their pain, along with the tears, are healed in his heavenly kingdom 
And that is the point. Benefits, pardons all my iniquities, heals all my diseases. I will see you tomorrow.